Hello everyone, Brian Cermak welcoming you to another edition of Life, Law, and Lessons. People often ask me what they should do if they're thinking about starting a new business. Today I'm going to offer you five steps that you should take and consider if you're in that same situation. And by taking these five steps, they will serve as a solid foundation for your business and will increase the likelihood of long-term success. What are those five steps? Step number one, understand. Well, what should you understand? Well, you should understand, of course, the business you're getting into. That goes without saying. But you should also understand who your avatar client or customer is. Who do you want to serve? Who would you like to be your customer or your client for your new business? but you should also understand what the competition is doing, knowing who the enemy, so to speak, is. So that way you can distinguish yourself, know what they're doing wrong that you can do better or correctly. Point number two, find out what you need. Are you gonna work from home or are you going to need office space? Are you going to need computer equipment? Are you going to need tools and hardware? What type of technology and equipment do you need? And you should start putting together lists and see what they cost. Which leads us into point number three. Consider your financing. What's it going to cost you to operate your business? Are you going, do you have the money to open up now? Are you going to need a loan? Are you going to have to finance a current residence you have? Are you going to have a partner? Point number four, brand identity. Distinguish yourself so that everyone will recognize who you are and what your business is. It could be with a logo, it could be with a phrase, it could be a trademark, it could be a picture. Figure out what that identification is. And of course, trademark, if possible, that unique identifying characteristic. And then finally, and I've saved the best for last, what are the legal aspects of your business? For example, what type of business are you gonna form? Is it going to be a limited liability company? Is it going to be a non-for-profit? Is it going to be a corporation? Is it going to be a partnership? Certainly, consulting with an attorney can steer you in the right direction because there are advantages and disadvantages of all these business types of formations. Your situation is unique to you and only an attorney can help you figure those things out. And when you see that attorney, Find out what the laws, the rules, and the regulations are that you have to comply with. Are there permits you have to get? Are there licenses you have to acquire? Again, here at Foster Swift, we do this day in and day out with our customers. Not only clients that are starting new businesses, but we help those with current businesses grow to comply with the law to grow their business. But it takes planning. Like Ben Franklin once said, if you fail to plan, you're actually planning to fail. Plan and reach out to us here at Foster Swift, and we'd be more than happy to assist you in the process. Remember until next time, so long as you desire to learn, you'll never cease to grow.